Okay, welcome everybody back uh, here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this deck later for our next deck, which is going to be Bant Familiar. Uh, this was a donation deck that we played a little while ago, maybe like a week or so ago, and it was pretty fun. I uh, enjoyed it, and um, Biomancer's Familiar was honestly was kind of impressive, uh, making like the Resplendent Angel and Shalai cost less and everything. It was pretty good. Um, so running it back, trying it again. And the the only change I'm making to the 75 from last time is I'm, we had four copies of Biomancer's Familiar. I'm going to take out the fourth one for a Hadana's Climb because of how good Hadana's Climb is with the Growth Chamber Guardian Incubation Druid. And I think it could be kind of good with some of our other cards as well. Um, so that's the one change. We did it. We were like pretty fortunate of like drawing one Biomancer's Familiar, familiar quite a bit and not really drawing multiples. I think that like... You know, we have four in the deck. I don't really want to play games where we have, like, three Biomancers Familiars kind of thing because they're kind of mopey, two-mana, two-twos without uh, some of the other stuff, without, like, the other creatures. So um, that's the one change going to try. So here we go. Bant Familiar. All right, let's see if, so we, so far we've only gotten to three wins with our deck so far today. We'll see if we can get past the three win plateau. It was looking good with Nile Legends picking up wins on the first two, but didn't finish it out. Play first, lucky. All right, got both of our deputies here in the deck. Or <laughs> both the deputies in the deck here in our hand. All right, last deck was Naya Legends. Okay. Do you come up here because I have food? This is a Path of Metal deck that our opponent's playing. That's interesting. So I think, I'm pretty sure Path of Metal, you only need two creatures to attack with it. To flip it. I'm pretty sure. So maybe I need to play Deputy again to, in case they have Path of Metal. Maybe they do. I just need two. I need to play Deputy, I guess. This is real bad for me. This thing's going to kill me. Metzali is an amazing, an amazing land. Yeah, I need to play a. Uh, yeah, I need to play our opponent's deck. Our opponent's deck's cool. Yeah, Path of Metal is really cool. So, if you're unfamiliar with this, whenever it flips, you have to you have to attack with two creatures that have first strike, double strike, vigilance, or haste. But then whenever you flip it, either just you spend two and the the land deals two damage to each opponent, or pay three and destroy a creature that attacked this turn. So if I just attack with this angel here, they just get to kill it with Metzali. That's really rough. Um, 
So we're going to need to... We're going to need to get a lot of creatures out here. I need this resplendent angel to not get killed at random. It's it's tough though, but and then also when they're when they're playing these first strike blockers, um, it's hard to attack through them any anyway. This is gonna be really tough. It turns out if I would have played my second deputy instead of the growth chamber guardian, it wouldn't have been any good anyway because they had the coils. They would have just coiled my second deputy, get the Tajik back. They had four mana. Play the path of metal. start adapting these things also what why would you auto tap like that deck why would you possibly do that Dutch. Got home from work. Very nice. Yeah, stream's going good. We are back at it. Okay. Next turn's our turn. We need Resplendent Angel to hit them. We're going to have to get lucky. It's really, really the, the math's in our favor by quite a bit. Our opponent's going to have to get lucky. Oh, no. That's eh, not that big a deal. We'll just go block, block, jump. That's fine. Unless they have, like, another pump spell. Oh, they have another path of metal? Oh, another path of metal kills these growth chamber guardians. But I, I need to block anyway. Okay, let's see. Yeah, like, that just helps there. The first strike blocking. Yeah, this looks really good for him. So they have a they have a 25% chance of killing my resplendent angel. Cuz they let damage first strike damage happen first. And those all die. Okay, we're not dead yet. I mean, we're kind of dead. They just have these creatures to attack any anyway. Kills like my one blocker I wanted to block with. That's actually that's fine for us though. Wow, this this works out really well. Their opponent's not shoving. Our opponent should just a shove and attack with everything. I guess they didn't want to flip that, but 
That's that's really good for us because now, um, yeah, auto tapper using the incubation druid. We got to manually tap here. Um, now they don't have the mana to activate Metzali. So we get a new angel. That's really good for us. Our opponent should have shoved in. Attacked with all their stuff. These are legendary, of course. But our opponent had two untapped mana. So they just... Shove in. This path would trigger. They respond by uh, adding two mana. This one flips over. They deal two to us, and then I have to I have to chump block with like the deputy or the angel. I'm in a really rough spot. Tribunal obviously is a is a really good card for the opponent to have. Um, so like they're they're still doing okay, but I think they could have basically just killed us. If they would have attacked all in there. That tribunal saves them though. How are they dead? They're not dead on board. They kill an angel. Metzali kills one of the angels. They take four. These angels are not going to win. We're any more. Cancel. Don't auto tap that. Uh, attack with all it is a hundred percent chance to hit an angel. If I attack with these, these deal first strike. Like these things kill these creatures first strike damage, and then before regular damage, Metzali kills an angel. So Metzali has a hundred percent chance to kill an angel. That's the card I wanted. Great job, good job. Great draw, good job, deck. Hey, no. Oh, yeah, no worries, can tell. Yeah. Yeah, so it's after they attack, so like once you attack, they can do it before damage. So our, our opponent could have won this game. They would have jammed all in earlier. Oh, well, this game's not over though. This thing has double strike and lifelink. This thing has double... Why do all these things have double strike? Oh, this thing? Oh. Yeah, Lyra dies. Right? Doesn't Lyra die? Oh no, Lyra doesn't die. Does it? no, because the first strike. I don't know why I was thinking Lyra would die. No, yeah, Lyra didn't die. Oh, 
Double strike's weird. So if I attack with these... Metsali has a 33% chance of killing Lyra, and then I'm, like, dead. Um... Yeah, I guess it's just a game of chance here now. We have a 67% chance of... ...of winning. Hooray! Hit the 67 percenter. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not lethal. No trample. <laughs> Attacking with the creatures just suicides the creatures and it doesn't it doesn't help your percentage because of blocking with first strike. It does help the chance that Lyra herself connects, but not that the Lyra dies and then you die. I did mess up the block though on the double strike. I don't know why I was thinking that it was going that Lyra was going to take twice as much, you know, that she was going to take the double strike. Lyra and the attacking creature would have only done the first strike damage. So Lyra could have been a free block on one of those other creatures. I, I messed that up. All right, so baffling end and binding. We'll get rid of climb. And Johnny and Vivian aren't aren't really special. Maybe I just play one of each. I'm not sure which one I like more. So I'll just play one of each. No, so like, as we saw that game, when they play Path of Metal, they usually just flip Path of Metal right away. So crushing canopy to try to destroy Path of Metal isn't really going to be worth it unless I like leave my mana up. When they're an aggressive deck, I can't really just like sit around and leave three mana up all the time. So it's just not really something I can I can try to do, I don't think. A Disdainful Stroke doesn't counter anything in their deck. Night to Grace. More Night to Grace. Their deck is certainly a whole lot better when they have um, Path of Metal. That's a cool card. Light up the stage in this deck. It's a nice addition. So unfortunately, this is just choosing a creature at random that attacked this turn. Because I know this thing gets to kill Carnage Tyrants, but I was hoping it was like target player, but it, it doesn't target a player either, so Shalai doesn't do anything to stop Metzali.
Where's our Lyra's at? Gotta get this Nia Legends deck for YouTube going. Hydro Crisis only draws one card right now. We're taking two from Metzali. Like, that, that's the one thing about if they if they want to do like the you know cre choose a creature that attacks at random that does cost four mana. So that is taking like all their lands up. But like all of their lands, I mean, actual all of their lands. We are very angelic. Naya Legends. Is this Lyra around here anywhere? Lyra would be so insane good. start the July pumping. I mean, I'm good to attack next turn. I'm, I'm attacking next turn. I don't... Wait, do we have lethal? Wait, you make this thing cost four? I'll just play you anyway. Because then they, they kill six... What if they just have Settle? I have Shalai. Shalai's good against Settle. So if I if I pump with Shalai and they kill Angel of Grace, I deal 5, 9, 13, 17, 21. I kind of want to just to pump with Resplendent Angel and, and gain life and then make a bunch of angels. But I guess winning is pretty good too. Alright, angels are sweet. <laughs> eh, winning's fine too, I suppose. If we have to. I'll take this one. A throng of angels and one gigantic jellyfish. I'm like, what is that jellyfish hydra beast? doing over here. Honestly, maybe just playing the Growth Chamber Guardian is better there. Nah, I just want to increase my mana. Alright, let's play Guardian and Familiar. Make sure we get both of these cards underneath Counterspell. Oh, definitely having fun. If we just preferred winning, I would just be playing Soul Tide Midrange all the time. That's like all I was trying to do. Having fun's 
Definitely better. What? No. You don't get the rest of my turkey and potatoes. This honey glaze is not for you, Hawkeye. Okay? Glaze, though. What you tapping? Anarchist Abe. Tapping the Druid, huh? No, we're not playing anything here, but we're increasing our our battlefield position by quite a bit. And now we don't have to worry about accidentally drawing a growth chamber guardian. Um, so Flux says, do you think it's worth, more worth it to play best of one ladder or the 500 gold tournament? It depends. If you're trying to build your account up and, you know, get new cards and, and earn, earn gold and all that kind of stuff, the, the 500 gold tournament by miles. If you're trying to just hit mythic so you can tell your friends that you hit mythic, um, and want like a high ranking like that, then you do the ranked. Um, the rewards for the doing ranked as far as building your account are, are basically none. So they have two mana. Yeah, that's that's fair. I'm not I'm not uh real well versed on the exact payouts of the best of one. That's annoying. Stop doing that. Stop making that sound. Why was that sound even necessary? Moon Development was like, yeah, this is a good idea. Let's put this sound in here. You are able to... Uh, so yeah, the best of three event pays out better. You are able to play a lot more of the best of one events, though, too. Like, you know, it's faster games and everything like that. Um, and when I've when I've played the best of one events before, uh, you know, I've played them like five times or so. And I've played them before. What are you doing with the trickster right now? Um... Okay. There has been a lot of jank in there too. 
All right, baffling end, crushing canopy, I guess. I don't really have a sideboard for mono blue. Okay, I'm trying to see my. You're in the way over here, so I'm trying to see my screen over here. Which you're still in the way for also. Um. Gotcha. You used to profit at four wins. Now you need five, which five's not that easy to do because you have to be five and two. So yeah, that that is kind of hard. Oh yeah, negates. Negates are good. What do I not want? I need a Johnny. Guess like Vivian. Just gets countered real easily. And one of these familiars. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and keep this one. Take it. All right, no curious obsession again. Um, I could see baffling ending the storm tamer, but maybe they'll just play a tempest gin without protection. I wouldn't guess that they would do that. Nobody, nobody would do that, right? They could have multiple Tempest Gins. I'm not sure if I want to play Growth Chamber Guardian or Biomancer's Familiar. I guess... GCG. Please don't block. Please don't block. Thank you. I, of course, didn't actually want to pump the Growth Chamber Guardian. I wanted to play the Lyra, but we got some free damage in there. Standard needs an Elish Norn or Massacre Worm clone so I can relive the glory days of Pod. Let's see, you get Chain Whirler and Plague Mare. You can do my, the one damage for three. So you just need two of them. That's like Massacre Worm dealing is minus two, minus two. You just need double Plague Mare at six mana. That's like a Massacre Worm. Yeah, I know, not as good. Okay. Lyra, ride nest to victory. 2 0. Oh. I, I think Vivian's better than Teferi in the deck with, with all the creatures that uh, Vivian's tick up and find. Um, yeah, I, I like Vivian quite a bit. Uh, Teferi's. You know, not so bad. Like, you can use that extra in mana at instant speed, you know, on your stuff like Shalai and things like that. And Teferi's a good card, of course. Um, they're both great. Woodland Cemetery.
They seem to have a cast down. Guess I'm gonna have the resplendent angel get cast down. So next turn, because I need I need to be able to have five mana before I play GCG. If you could meet one of the planeswalkers in real life, who would you meet and why? I would meet Huatli and go ride around on dinosaurs with Huatli. That'd be fun. All right, well now with the familiar, we get to just spend one mana on the Growth Chamber Guardian. I could have passed and tried to in entrap my opponent and see if they would have attacked their G JR into my GCG, their Jade Light Ranger into my Growth Chamber Guardian, but. Leave before I make you disappear. Why don't I make that disappear? Ooh. Play my land. Thank you. Um... It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. So if I... If I played a Johnny that last turn... Oh, I could have, like, a Johnny and, Baff and Baffling End did. Our kinship ensures our victory. Yeah, let's get these things above finality. Strength is born of struggle. Contempt. I don't have contempt. Ooh, they're contempt in a 5 5. Interesting. Yeah, so I wanted to get the 4 4s above finality, which was my goal there. Why I went with. didn't put anything on the druid yet. Okay, the you can have a 3-3. Three, three. What do you want to do with that 3-3? Three, three? <laughs> Not dead yet. So if, if I ticked up first, remember, if you put a counter on Incubation Druid, then you cannot adapt it anymore. So if I would have ticked up first on these two, then they get to just block my Incubation Druid kind of thing. But it'd still be a 3-5. A um, I kind of want to just Angel of Grace now. I think my plan's either Angel of Grace or... You know, it's just Growth Chamber plus Adapt and then counter and make the... That thing of five five. You 
can still fight. Actually, what if I return this thing? My line, my line's not that good against finality. My line of like Angel of Grace, block this thing. All right, that's fine. All right, that'll kill him. go. Game two. Honor guard time. Another baffling end. Disdainful strokes. Um, don't want deputy with the honor guards. And I kind of like all these cards. This is 65. Hmm. I mean, Climb's kind of for this matchup. If I'm taking Climb out, that's not good, but... That's kind of the matchup for Hidana's Climb. Yeah, Baffling End was awesome for us. It's, it's really good in this matchup. Um, I like Disdainful Stroke more than Negate because I want to counter Hostage Taker to go with, like, the expensive cards. The, the, one, thing, the one way that Disdainful Stroke is worse is it doesn't counter cast down for like when we have Takali Honor Guard in play. We'd rather have Negate to protect Takali Honor Guard. Yeah, like our, our top end angels aren't aren't amazing. Um They can answer these things kinda easily. Angel of Grace is definitely coming out, so this is 64. Maybe I need to just take Hadana's Climb out. I trim one Lyra, one Shalai. Um, one Biomancer is familiar. And maybe the Climb or an Ajani. No, not Ajani. I guess Climb. I guess maybe to, maybe climb just doesn't fit. Oh no! It's, it's almost likely. It's like it's pretty likely that it's wrong to be taking out climb because climb's such a powerful card. Shalai's not that amazing in this matchup. But we need creatures. Love Druid. I'm never going to take out Druid ever in any matchup. Hey, Mike. Um... Pay two life. Drunk Akuma. Getting that sub in here. Sub number 17. Welcome to the channel, Akuma. Thank you for that continued support. Hmm. I don't think they have a whole lot. Like, if they want a hostage taker, a biomancer is familiar. I don't think they have a lot to do with it.
Fortunately, Baffling End's not as good for us here. Together, I will lend you my strength. Do I want to Baffling End this, this J Light Ranger? Nah. Unfortunately, we don't get to Baffling End the Hostage Taker. Yeah, the quip goal is if we have 10, 10 people sign up for quip, I'll be doing a, a 12 hour stream there. Ugh. Uh, quip is a really, really nice, affordable, stylish electric toothbrush. I will fight on. <clears throat> kind of wish I would have. No! I, that's my fault. I need to pay attention Beasts to the auto tapper. So reliable. Come to me. All right, it worked out. We found like something else to play. Deliver it worked us out. To victory. Um. And uh, if you sign up for Quip, use my referral my referral uh, link there. Uh, they have, there's two different sets. You can either get the, the plastic one for $25 or the metal one for $40. Either way, uh, signing up for Quip, you not only get your Let's first refill your free, but you also get a free donation comes. deck. So that's what I'm doing. If for people signing up through my referral link, I'm giving you a donation deck for free, which is, you know, usually 20 bucks to get, to do a donation deck. You can't stop nature. I mean, I can just grab Lyra and make their Vivian minus. Or I can start Growth Chamber Guardian. I guess we're doing this. I'm saving this baffling end for the Thief of Sandy, of course. See in yourself what I see in you. Our Vivian does ultimate before their Vivian. Um, but they could play two flyers here with Thieves Andy and Resplendent Angel. Hey, hey, Bubba, yeah, just, there you go. Thanks, Balance Abigail. Comes. Quips, amazing toothbrush, best toothbrush I've ever used. Um, and doing a campaign, if you get a Quip toothbrush, through my link, you get a free donation deck and uh, go towards our 12 hour goal there. We have six people have signed up for Quip so far. We're getting there. Hostage Taker is a beating. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Um. So. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Do this for four. I mean, we'll do it for eight. I mean, yeah, and keep keep two men up to play another growth chamber guardian. I guess I get an honor guard. Look how far you have come. And yeah. <clears throat> Wanna get creatures above finality, so I go into five five here. 
No, I'm not streaming that for 12 hours. Just once we, once 10 people sign up for Quip, then I'll be doing another 12 hour stream to celebrate. Um, I'm not streaming that. Like I'll be playing Magic here, like I am today for 12 hours to to celebrate. So, 12 hour stream. So I have a couple goals right now. You know, once we get to 2,000 YouTube subscribers, um, or 10 people sign up for Quip. Right now we're at. 1,744 YouTube subs. So it looks like our opponent could not get our Vivian. Our Vivian was going to ultimate. And there we go. Fought through a bunch of hostage takers. Growth Chamber Guardian being pretty, pretty impressive. And you saw how good Incubation Druid was. We had so much mana because of Incubation Druid. But we just outmaned our opponent all those turns. That's it. Never taken out Incubation Druid. Thanks, King Toll. Hey, Project. Project Vanner. Howdy. All right, Steel Kitten. So unfortunately, we don't have a second white source for this Resplendent Angel. Um, it is kind of a nice curve of like familiar into resplendent means that on turn four, if you have the triple white, you can already activate resplendent angel. Um, <laughs> you don't want to watch me brush my teeth for 12 hours? Wow. Oh, turn three, wilderness reclamation on the play. We're already dead. GG. We haven't like played against a wilderness reclamation opponent that hasn't had wilderness reclamation immediately. Just haven't seen that. Hey, what's up, Perry Grip? We are certainly not winning. It's, just, it's not even possible for us to do 17 damage. All right, bindings, disdainful strokes, negate, crushing canopy, frilled mystic, all that kind of stuff. Um, so what are we taking out? These top end angels are probably just too slow. Um, yeah, we could probably just take all of them out. None of them are very good. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. That's the best answer to Sultai. Sultai needs to adapt then, which they can. So, you know, like all the tools between Sultai having discard, counter magic, disenchants, Sultai can adapt to beat the deck. So it kind of makes Sultai so, so makes Sultai the best deck, in my opinion, is because whenever anything else gets to be too big of the metagame, Sultai and other decks adapt. Like once you, like once there's other decks that are built to like 
you know, not to beat Soul Tide to start beating these things that will be a little harder for him. Um, I'm not sure if I've heard of the Royal Concept. I'll write that down. Druid. I played during you and I and then came back for arena during closed. It seems to me that the design and test teams are incompetent or is this totally normal? Um, I don't. I don't think they're they're totally incompetent. I think I think it's some cards kind of slip through the cracks though, because um, sometimes there there are changes made uh, late in the game and everything, and it's possible something was changed with this or or something or wasn't tested very much. Please let us untap. Please don't kill my Exelon's Binding. Okay. All right, now we're in business. We got Counter Magic to protect our Exelon's Binding. That's good. Um, st still can't beat Niv-Mizzet if our opponent has Niv-Mizzet. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the type of card that was just kind of like slammed in at the end uh, without people really realizing, without like them testing it. Which I, I hate that they do that. I hate that that's a thing. So this, this was not it. There's no way that this was possibly a tested card in my opinion. anything to do to deal with that More crabs. Good old elf, elf crab warrior. Not good for us. Not good for us at all.
Save infinite cards. Yeah, I yeah, I don't I don't believe wilderness was tested. I think this was just kind of added to the end of the set of like something of like, hey, let's have like this cool, uh, big splashy thing for commander players. You know, like untap, untap your lands. Like, um, you know, they'll love it kind of thing. But And I realize what it actually does and and everything. There's no way with Nexus of Fate in the format that they thought that was a good idea to print if it was tested. But oh well, it was printed. It's here. So we are three and one now. I liked our opening hands quite a bit. You know, our opening hand there was pretty good, but you saw we just ended up kind of just drawing five or six lands in a row at the end of the game. Um, you know, after even missing a land drop. It's the best deck if all you care about is beating Nexus of Fate. Um... I think you you'd want to play an Esper deck with a lot of discard, counter magic, thief of sanities, and disenchants. You know, like demystify, mortify. Um, also, un unmoored egos, unmoored ego to as well. Yeah, you, you'd certainly want it. You certainly want, at the very least, in some, you want Unmoored Ego, Thief of Sanity, uh, a bunch of Duresses, Thought Erasures, and Negates, uh, you know, Counter Magics. You want Discard, Counter Magic, Thief of Sanity, and Unmoored Ego. Um. Besides that, you, you probably need disenchant effects. That's why I was saying white. Um, you could go, you know, you could go into other colors as well, though, and, and everything. I usually like egoing Wilderness Reclamation more than egoing Nexus. Yeah, Spyglass is, is usually pretty good too, but not not necessarily necessary. Attack. So we will be able to activate Resplendent Angel here. Hostage Taker is going to be pretty good for them, but yeah, it's like, what is it really going to do? Um, 
So they we don't have to worry about finality next turn. I mean, I could just dubs baffling end. They're missing land drops. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just not losing if I'm double baffling ending. Or at least just even just taking this land or else. All right, so we did pretty good with sideboarding here the last match, I think. Um, let's kind of do the same thing that we did. I brought in all of those. Cut Angel and Deputy. Um, and I guess I did cut Hadana's Climb. You know, I do, do like that card. And then one Lyra, one Shalai, and one Familiar. Yeah, this is a very even deck list. Four, 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 two, four, two, four, two, 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 two. Yeah, even the lands. Besides, besides those, two, four, 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 two. Oh no! Yeah, we're gonna hide that. Hide that thing. Oh, there's a three down here too. Oh yeah, let's hide. Hide those. Hide those. Those those don't exist. I don't think that first hand was beating too many opponents. Yep, exclamation point deck gets you the list. Like the opponent's it's the opponent's turn. They kept their hand. It's on them. Come on, Waldo. Any day. All right, so we got turn three, Shalai, and then kind of nothing. Not really, Brits. Brit Splash, no. I don't really play the tier 1 decks. Alright, well, at least Shalai does a good job of protecting from cast down, so if, like, that's their... If cast down's, like, their only removal, that's good for us. If you can't cast down Incubation Druid, can't cast down Shalai. I think there's 25 in here. For lands. Yeah, 25. Yeah, again, that legendary value. War of the Spark. Oh, yeah, what will be in standard? Everything that's in standard right now plus War of the Spark. Like, it, it just gets added to the card pool. Phone's got seven cards in hand. That's a lot of cards. You do not have to fight alone. Deliver us to victory. Yeah, Mark Anthony is my favorite shirt brand. Um, it's what a lot of the, the shirts that, that I like that fit really well are, are Mark Anthony shirts. Um, it's a brand I haven't... Or, like, I, I haven't really bought new shirts in, like, a, a long time. You know, I got a lot of shirts uh, previously, and 
Wild uh, like when I was I like teaching and everything, and so I just I just don't really buy <laughs> Get that out anymore. Of here. So that was worst worst case scenario that of them killing being able to kill the Shalai, then because then a Johnny's dead. Um. Oh really, Brooks Brothers, okay. Want some real good shirts? The wilds are my shield. I taught geometry. Likely gonna lose. Vivian is you know pretty messed up. I don't think we're gonna be beating a Vivian here. lands or shock lands. I mean, I can play everything in my hand, but I have to go down to 10. Um, I guess baffling on the wild growth walker. Guess. Cool, Brit Splash. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know. I'd, like the tier one decks are good, you know, and they're certainly good. And I just like making different decks and you know playing playing different things than what everybody else is playing. No one said restoration. That's what basically everybody painless. plays are just the tier one decks. And, I don't know, like doing something else. Uh, there's, I've, I may play against more wilderness reclamation decks these days than Sultai. Um, but yeah, Mono Blue, Wilderness Reclamation, Soul Tie, and Esper Control. Those are the the four most popular decks. The big thing that, that really hurt was, you know, the Vivian killed us. I, I could have not played a Johnny and just waited and um, adapted that that turn. Okay, what we got? Our opponent takes forever at the beginning of the game. Just sitting there. Same thing that happened last game. Yeah, you better move fast. Just like Rilo Kylie saying. Yeah, this this Takali Honor Guard's gotta be, you know, everything for us. We need to draw like some card advantage. You know, 
Vivian, Hydroacrasis, Vivian, Vivian, uh, Growth Chamber Guardian, Vivian, a Johnny, a Johnny would be good. Maybe a Vivian. Not just another land, please, deck. I already sat here and drawn two lands. It's basically a land. Holding on to this baffling end, because um, our opponent could have Thief of Sanity or Hydroid Crisis. It does let our opponent have. Vivian first now. Okay, so it looks like they don't, don't have Vivian. And in case... I was going to say, in case our opponent has finality, which is, you know, certain, certainly common, I, I want to be able to activate this. I, I don't want to throw the other honor guard on the battlefield and have them both get swept up by finality, but looks like that's all they had were just lands and mana. Lands and mana. But me over here, all I have are lands and mana. Oh, untap. Just adapt. Thank you. Good job, Doc Malice. It just made it platinum. Way to go. Platinum. So I could baffling in their druid. Right, and then um But then if they do still have Krasis, you know, that's that's like awful for me. I'll get a second one of these down. It's like, who draws Crisis first? Who draws Vivian first? Ooh. I'll take it. That's just a draw four cards. What kind of challenger decks do you think we'll get in April? Honestly, don't know. That was not really a card I was expecting. They must have just drawn that because they didn't use that on Honor Guard earlier. Or maybe they were just saving that because they had nothing to... No ETB effect creatures, so they are just saving it. Alright, we drew cases first. Hooray! Hooray! So the Growth Chamber Guardian did it. Shuffled our library, put Krasis on the top. Krasis is OP. Krasis. Especially with when paired with Incubation Druid. The mana you get from that thing. <laughs> so now if they have any counter magic. They won't have blue mana unless they, they float it. Go 
Come on, Waldo, let's finish up the game. So we have nine mana right now. We do have the mana for Johnny and Lyra uh, by tapping the Incubation Druid. Get this growth chamber guardian out of finality range immediately. You and get to go put another one in our hand. That'll do it. Alright, four and one. Four and one. Ooh, that means it's final boss time. Where, where's our emotes? Here we go. Let's go get your final boss emotes in the chat. First final boss match of the night. We're still going with this five win dream. Still alive. Genju two. Hmm. the draw I mean it's a little a little more likely that we hit land drops on the draw Tight taker Our hand's pretty good against Mono White. Like, Deputy Attention's a real good card here. The opponent hasn't had the fastest of starts. I, w I would like to be able to, to save this. Uh, for our opponent's turn, but the Tithe Taker means I can't save it. I have to do it right now. We do get to de deputy detention away the both knights. I would like them to play another history here. Another history. Uh... Hey, that's still good job, Matthew. Way to fix that. So, do I take the knights or do I take the Benelish Marshal with Deputy of Detention? This is looking pretty bad for us now. Like that—that that was just a, an amazing turn for the opponent. Like I don't—I don't think they can—they can couldn't have had a better turn. Uh, well, I guess they could have like vent, they could have venerated Luxidon also. So I guess they could have had a better turn. Um. Probably need to take the knight tokens. I really want to take Marshall. But if, if I take Marshall, these are still four threes, and that's a four two the next turn. And then this thing's a three three. If I take the knights, I get to chump block with the deputy, but these things are real big. That's like a five four. That's that's a 5-3. 
This is still a 4 4. It's a tough call. Y'all think take the Knights? I don't really have good blocks if I take the Knights. I guess I have okay blocks. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll take the Knights. We get a chomp with this deputy now. I could have shocked, gone to 10, shocked, tapped the Biomancer's Familiar and made this a 6-6. Six, six. So I could I could be at 10 and have a 6-6 six, six on the battlefield. Um... Pretty surprised by this attack. Do they have Pride of the Conquerors? I guess they may. I hope they don't. Alright, well, I'll take that. Oh, never mind. I will not take that though. That's really bad for us. That's even worse. So I need a top deck like my one last deputy at attention. Oh, I'm just dead. It looks good for us, and then um, Ben Elish Marshall into Bodyguard turn four, Seraph turn five, Seraph turn six. Those being their last four cards. Not ones I could beat. Let's get End Binding. Climb Vivian and Johnny. Come on out. Playing one of each. One Vivian, one Ajani. They're not great, but they have their uses, so we got got one of each one. What if I would just taken the Benelish Marshal? Maybe I need to do that. Yeah, I, I kinda think I, I regret taking the, the tokens and not the Benelish Marshal. Yeah, we are we are currently on Bant Familiar. You can see like going down the list here. We are currently on Bant Familiar. Grix's discard is up next. Um, I I believe Cry of the Carnarium is fixed and works properly now. All right, we need two white mana, two white sources for Lyra. Two white sources. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Where's the white sources? Killing me. Oh, 
There's some white mana. How bad has the land drought flood been this stream? Yeah, it's been it's been horrible. We have had just mana issues all day. It's been real bad, real bad day with the mana. Am I supposed to attack? I regret tapping the Biomancer's Familiar and doing that, but it's already too late, so I have to do it. I regret doing that. I wish I would have just attacked him for six and held up one mana and be able to make one of these a 4-2. Regret doing that. Or a 4-4, four, four, I mean. Opponents aren't having any trouble today, though. They're doing just fine. All right, so four and two. Best league of the day so far. That was like the first time this time. Hey, we got we got a rare that we didn't own. That doesn't happen too often. With there being like less than twenty total rares that I that I don't own. So there we go. So being familiar, um, still was pretty good. You know, up until like that last game was just really rough. Um, but besides that, the game went, went over pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything I necessarily want to change with the deck, uh, after that. It felt pretty good. Yeah. Oh, the Hadana's Climb, that's probably not necessary. Probably just take out the Climb and just put it in the fourth crisis. Yeah, that was that was a card I wanted to try the Climb, but honestly, don't think you need that. So let's probably just play the fourth crisis the next time. Just because, you know, the crisis is really solid. So there we go. That's That's the change to make for the next time. All right, so if you're watching this video on YouTube, one, thanks for watching, uh, but two, I'll see you for the next video.